Okay, dudes, I'm not even trying to tra- or anything. I'm just being straight up honest with you. Eight thoughts has an answer. I'm sure you've thought of it, but I don't think it has actually really seeped into your consciousness. But you're all worried about little goddamn tangibles and all the small details about how fast quick scoping should be, you know, the balancing the guns. And it's one fucking thing we just need to do and bring it back because all of us here can be in agreement, or at least the majority of us can be in agreement because there's always going to be one guy in the group that's like, I don't agree with that, eight thoughts. And that guy can go fuck himself. But for the rest of us, I'm sure we all can sit here and agree that Call of Duty 4. World at War, and even Modern Warfare 2, if we overlook all the shit that was supposed to be patched, are the greatest and the most fun I've ever had and that we've ever had playing Call of Duty. And it all went fucking downhill. The train went off the tracks and killed a bunch of innocent people as soon as Black Ops came out. Even though Black Ops is fun, yeah, it's a lot of fun compared to Modern Warfare 3 for a lot of us. I mean, I know there's like Legend of Thunder and dudes like that actually went and sold Modern Warfare 3. Pwn Star for Hire, who was rocking the ducky swag there, fucking broke his Modern Warfare 3 game. I mean, come on, dude. Shit's gotta be pretty bad when it's only been out for like, let's see, November, December, January. Less than four months and people are breaking it and taking it back and going back to Black Ops. So I'm saying this, guys. It's getting worse. We need, I repeat, we need to put stopping power back in Call of Duty. There needs to be a yin to the yang. I said this like six fucking months ago, before Modern Warfare 3 even came out, I said it's going to fucking suck because there is no yin, there is no yang. Y'all say it together. It's just horse cock because it's like you need to have an agent smith and you need to have neo you need to balance the fucking equation out it has to be a matrix man people don't seem to understand how important call of duty is to have stopping power it is the essence it is what drives and what actually sets the whole tone for call of duty it affects everything from the kill streaks to the flow of the game how long the games last the mentality that people carry into the game and it just basically destroys the game if you don't have a counterbalance Like I said, the whole goddamn Matrix universe was almost destroyed because, you know why? They didn't have the balance. If you're going to use Cold-Blooded, you have to be penalized. You have to basically, you have to be giving up something. And right now, the way Call of Duty is standing with Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it just basically makes it imbalanced. That's what I'm saying. You need to have brought to stopping power because with stopping power, it would make the kill streaks more useful. It would actually start making UAV more useful. People would have to move because you know what? When the UAV goes up and people are getting three kill streaks all the time, you know what? They're a little red dot. They're sitting there. You know where they are. They don't have that surprise. They can't sit and hide in the corner. It gets people moving, and that is just the answer. And that's all we need to look for, my friends. Is we need the yin, we need the yang, we need the stopping power, we need the ghost. And with that together, it doesn't matter. It would make the games we have right now would just be so fucking awesome. Imagine Black Ops with stopping power. Imagine they took out Ghost or put Ghost and stopping power in the same tier slot. The game would completely change. I mean, I'm having a hard time finding a game on Call of Duty 4, World at War, and Modern Warfare 2 lasting longer than 5 minutes or 6 minutes in a team deathmatch or free for all. But you go play it on World at War, I mean, uh, rather, sorry, uh, Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3, we're hitting fucking time limits, man, because no one's moving because you know why? They don't have to move. They can just sit there. And if you give people the goddamn tools to sit in camp, they're going to build the greatest fucking campfire in the world. And that's just the way the human nature is. But if you don't give them any tools, and in fact you set their ass on fire with a UAV because you have to use stopping power because everybody's going to have to use stopping power because no one ever wants to use cold blooded because you know what? You can't snipe with that shit because it takes more than one shot to kill somebody. You know, you can't kill people really well or very fast from a distance because it takes way too many shots. And now now they have to move. They get up and run around, and the game gets going, and you're meeting head to head. Instead of like the game the way it is now, for people like me at least, and for a lot of you as well, it's more like hide and seek. I've got to run and find where all these people are camping. I feel like a goddamn looter, some kind of pirate. I got to run around the fucking universe. I got to run around the ocean, and I got to find where these goddamn dudes are hanging out and camped out so I can kill them. And it just makes the game bullshit, man. It really does. I mean, I'm not saying they're horrible games, but they really, honestly, everyone has gotten a sour taste in the mouth. I've never seen so many people complain about a game as soon as this fucking... Modern Warfare 2 got less hate than Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops. It really did, guys. So all I'm saying, man, please, Mr. David Vondahar, if you're listening, if you're watching, please put Stopping Power back in the same tier as Ghost or Assassin or whatever you're going to call it and put some balance back in the game. I'm eight thoughts. I hope this made sense. I hope there's going to be balance back in the game. I hope that the Matrix becomes one again and everyone sits on the park bench looking at the horizon, looking at the city skyline, and they say to themselves, God damn it, Eight Thoughts is right. The cock of gold spoke the truth. Stopping power is back in the game, and I'm having a great time, and the day is saved. Y'all be cool. Y'all stay in school. I don't know why I said stay in school. I stay in school. I'm doing video game commentaries on fucking YouTube. Bye.